Hey guys, Rick Stone here from Our Stony Acres. Welcome to our YouTube channel. While you're here, please make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notice every time we release a new video. Okay, so today we are going to talk about aphids and especially we are going to be talking about a trick to hopefully help you get them under control in your garden. So aphids are the bane of my existence, especially in the fall. We really struggle with aphids in our area and uh, they'll attack especially like all of the, the cabbage family crops. So our broccoli, our cauliflower, our Brussels sprouts, and especially our kale. They just seem to love kale for some reason. We'll also have some aphid problems on our tomatoes earlier in the year um, and occasionally maybe like some of our leafy greens in the spring. But for the most part, for us at least, aphids are a problem in the fall and it's just an ongoing thing that we're constantly battling. So hopefully today I'm going to give you some tips to help you figure out how to control those aphids. We'll give you a few kind of uh, organic methods that you can use and then we're also going to talk to you about how to make homemade insecticidal soap. Okay so like I said we have just a huge problem with aphids in our garden and so let me give you a, a couple of different tips that you can use to help control aphids uh, without using any sprays first. So the first thing that I would recommend that you do is when you find an infestation, especially if you've got some that are really, really bad, that you just remove the infected leaves, okay? Or the infected plant. So if you've got one plant that's really being attacked by aphids, you might just need to sacrifice that plant in order to keep the problem from spreading because you don't want it to spread to your entire garden. So that would be the first thing. Remove any leaves that are infected or remove the plant if it's that bad. Um, you, you might just want to do that. Now, a preventative measure that you can use is to use fabric row cover to keep the aphids from getting on the plants in the first place. And so uh, here's a cutaway. This is actually our spinach bed uh, for the fall. And we use a fabric row cover to keep the pests out. And it's very effective at keeping aphids and other uh, you know, flying bugs out. A uh, great way to also keep things like cabbage loppers off of your plants. So just a really good option. And uh, I actually have a video on using fabric row cover as a pest protection. And uh, I'll leave a link up here so that you can watch that if you want as well. Okay. But the last option is to use an insecticidal soap. And insecticidal soaps are actually quite gentle. They're usually pretty good on your plants. And most insecticidal soaps are also considered organic. Um, and if you buy those at the store, it's pretty easy to find one that is certified organic. And so uh, insecticidal soaps are a great way to go. They're very mild pesticides and they work because an aphid is a soft bodied insect. Uh, they, they work by dissolving their bodies, basically. They, they, uh, there's, there's fats and oils in the, the soap itself that actually will destroy the, the aphids and, and take care of your problem. And it works with several other bugs as well, and we'll talk about those. And you can actually make a homemade version of insecticidal soap that's safe to use on almost all of your plants. Uh, it washes off a very organic use, and so uh, it's a great way to do it. But we need to talk first about the soap that we're going to use. Okay, so this looks like it would be just a great soap to use in your garden, right? Um, seventh generation, we use it on our, our dishes, powered by plants, um, free of fragrances and dyes. But the problem is, is that this is not a soap, it's a detergent, okay? And all of your dish soaps like Dawn and, and you know, all of the different soaps that are out there are actually not soaps, they're detergents. And we don't want a detergent, okay? Number one, a detergent is going to be harsher and harder on your plants. And you don't know, depending on the plant, how it will react to that detergent. And so you need to make sure that you're not using detergents in your garden. So instead is what we want to use is some of this. So let me zoom in here or maybe we'll do a cutaway. Uh, we want to use a pure Castile soap. Okay. And this particular brand is Dr. Bonner's. Um, and, and this little tiny bottle will, will make, uh, you know, probably eight or 10 batches of insecticidal soap. I think this costs 99 cents and uh, it, it's a great option. But we're looking for a pure soap um, and usually Castile is a good option, okay? There are some other options out there, but there are, you know, Dr. Bonner's, by the way, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. 
uh, it's a pretty easy brand to find and uh, and so you can you know you can usually locate them pretty easily um, but when you look at the ingredients you want to be looking for one that says it has soap in it and it has it should have fats and um, oils in it and so this one is made with with several different types of oils and it's the oils and the fats that actually react with the bodies of the insects and take care of them and it's also very gentle on your plants there's very few plants that you cannot use this on you know everything is going to be okay using this insecticidal soap okay all right so let's talk about the recipe it's actually pretty easy you just need a spray bottle okay and we are going to put one tablespoon of the soap in one quart of water okay so one tablespoon to one quart mix it up good and away you go um, that's how simple it is I've seen recipes out there where people will use an oil as well. Uh, that's not going to hurt your plants if you want to put an oil in, like a vegetable oil or something. But really, all you need is a tablespoon of the soap, quart of water, and you're ready to go. So just mix those two together, and you're ready to spray it on your plant. Now, what bugs does this work on? Uh, it works really well for aphids, also mealybugs, um, immature scale, which is sometimes called crawlers. Thrips, white flies, spider mites, um, and it works on both the, the adult bugs and the eggs as well. And so it will, it will work to destroy both of those um, really, really well. So again, aphids, mealybugs, crawlers, thrips, white flies, and spider mites. Um, this insecticidal soap will work really good on any of those infestations. All right, so now let's take a second. We're going to run out and uh, take a look at some of my kale plants, and I'll actually show you how to apply it to the plants. Okay, so we're right here. This is kind of just one of our uh, kind of off to the side beds that we have. Uh, and this year we decided to put some, some kale, and there's some collards over there as well. And so I've noticed that I'm starting to get a few aphids on here, and I'll, I'll do a cutaway so that you guys can actually see up close. But aphids will almost always show up on the, the bottom side of leaves, on, on leafy greens. And so uh, you're, you're just going to turn those leaves over and when you see them. So, you know, if, if, if I go through here, I'm not too bad right now. I, I don't have a real bad infestation. Um, you know, there's, there, oh, there's some on that one. So, you know, about two out of five. Um, and so all we're going to do is just, uh, we've got this, we've mixed it up, shaken it up, and we're just going to spray it on the bottom of those leaves, making sure that we get it on the actual bugs. And uh, this one had some on it, so we'll spray this one as well. Just give it a nice coat, and uh, away you go. Uh, that's all it takes. Now... I would recommend that you do this every five to seven days until the problem's gone. And it may go away, you know, something as light of an infestation as what I've got here will probably go away with just one, maybe two treatments. Uh, if you've got a really bad infestation, then you may have to continue to treat all season long. But about every five to seven days, if you just go out, spray those leaves, uh, the bottom of those leaves, you should be able to take care of your aphid problem or if it's spider mites or, you know, anything else that you might happen to have. Any soft-bodied insect, uh, this insecticidal soap will take care of it. And it smells nice too. I chose lavender. So anyways, uh, it's really easy, really simple to do and uh, very effective. I've found that uh, it, it will knock that population down, especially if you catch it early. So if you're out in your garden and you're checking and, and, and making sure that, that you're you know, keeping track of things in your garden, uh, then, you know, you should be able to get an early jump on them and keep them under control. All right, so that, my friends, is all I have for you for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you would, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you check back next week. We'll have more gardening videos for you. Okay, that's all I have today. Thanks, guys. Happy gardening. How was your garden this year? Did you struggle a little bit? Did you have some problems? Uh, were you new to gardening? Are you just now thinking about starting a garden? Well, I want to help you. And the best way that I can help you to become a better gardener is to have you join the Gardening Academy. So the Gardening Academy is our monthly membership service where we provide weekly content to help you become a better gardener. And now is a great time to join because we've been going for over a year, which means the site is loaded 
with tons of great gardening content. On top of all of the content that's there, we also have a, a monthly Q&A session where you guys can ask me questions, and uh, it's just a great place to be and a great place to learn about gardening. There's a link down in the description below. You can click on that. It'll teach you more about it, and I would really love to have you be a part of the Gardening Academy. So please join. Click the link below. Thanks, guys. Happy gardening.